Hey everyone, Louis here, so just giving you a quick update on what we've been up to this week, giving you a tour around this three bed house behind me here. So outside doing the work, inside doing work. Externally we've got a roof that isn't watertight, so we're having to upgrade that, um, put on some felt inside. Um, currently it's got the old roof on at the moment, it's got concrete tiles on, they've perished, ripping them off, whacking on some new felt, some new lath, taking out the bow from this ridge up here. Um, we're going to put on some new tiles, new guttering through the property. It's currently leaking, so when it rains, we're finding it's currently leaking. Um, a few damp patches inside and whatnot, so we're going to be um, getting to the, the source of that issue by sorting out the roof, getting our new lead, new lead ceiling felt up there, and just getting rid of the old, old concrete tiles, which are really warm now. They don't do too well in this, uh, this cold. Uh, these, these extreme weather conditions that we have in the UK. So inside we're changing around to the kitchen. The, ki the old kitchen is going to be the study and the old living room is going to be the kitchen. Um, with the kitchen we've got all the units here. Um, all the plumbing behind there has been done uh, as well as the rewire as well for the first fix. We'll fit the kitchen and do the second fix afterwards. The property did benefit from central heating before but the old boiler was buggered so we got rid of the boiler looking at the radiators they're old style steel radiators and we anticipate that they're going to rust very quickly so when we're doing all this work on the on the, on the property it's well worth upgrading and upgrading those um, central heating radiators that you've got as well so they provide a nice clean finish uh, we are looking to recycle a lot of the the, the fabric of the property as well with new walls um, just while well, keeping the walls and just looking to skim over them board them where we need to and uh, putting some new um, cordial holes in the wall as well so we can get out toilets um, sinks baths as well so we've got loads of tiles around the back building up and as you can see, it's interesting character with this pebble bush. There's where the new sink's coming out. Where the flute for the water system's coming out. Put on a new back door. Some new guttering down here. Put on a new flat roof at the back here. Rubber roof. Fascia's guttering. And you can see difference in the new tiles what they look like when they go on so nice and fresh clean tidy finish cloaking up the side we're going to be taking out the extra extraction fan up through the roof so you don't have to have the window open and you can help prevent building up moss but the building up damp in there this is the old roof at the top we'll be looking at all these hips up here doing the lead work and We've been filling in, patching in some of the some of the render that's been falling off. It's falling off just when you look at it, this stuff. But we'll be looking to patch it in. New doors around here. Old ones are timber and rotten. So that's outside and we'll go upstairs. So here we are in one of the first bedrooms. Double bedroom here, just to give you an idea. So skimmed all the walls, that's all dry. Really, really pleased that it's dried so quick. Nice fresh finish there. Come along, paint it. Easy maintenance for the owner going forward. As if the walls do get blemishes, you can just paint it. Whereas with wallpaper, you have to be there finding and matching wallpapers, keeping it in storage, and then it goes off and whatnot. New bathrooms in up here. It was separated into two rooms, so it's all a bit more open plan now. New toilet, new sink, new bath, aqua boards on the wall bin used there. New tower rail, chrome finishing, finish really nice, mirror will be going above the sink of course. Got the trims going around the window at the moment and there'll be a shower glass going on in no time at all. We'll have a little closer look. So once it's all siliconed up, look really nice. And these aqua boards are last for years and years and years, so really low maintenance, which is what you want. 
nice taps, I do like my taps. And you shower up there. Adjustable heat mixer, got all the waste and that running underneath outside which you've seen. Got the braided hose, copper on show. Like to have copper on show when you're linking up the plumbing. Got this finish off nicely with these trims over here, so loving all the chrome in here. It's the most glamorous part of the house. Everything else quite standard finish. Got new radiators on, painted behind. It's this single room and then the last double room up here. The bay window, all skims, dry, apart from where we put bond in, so won't, won't be painting that area quite yet. Still need to dry out a bit. Paint will go flaky if we paint it too soon. Keeping the door furniture, it's about seven or eight doors in the house, so if you're paying like £10 or sometimes up to £30, can all add up, but that's a cost save there. We're going to paint all the woodwork, doors, skirts, locker drive, rails, windowsills. Up here is okay, but downstairs we're going to put a new windowsill on as well. So we come downstairs and we're going to the living room and kitchen area. Be a feature wall in here, living space. Cupboard area. And kitchen area. So we've got sockets for the worktop, there'll be units down here, base units down here, units on the wall, um, we'll have obviously worktop upright, worktop as well to give it a nice tidy finish, Pl plenty of sockets on there so you're not running out of power, uh, sink around this area, extraction fan and the client wanted the fan to be taken outside. So. All the bad smells taken all outside in this kitchen here. We've got a nice radio to up here. And then the garden space, as we've seen earlier. So, huge kitchen dining area over here.